And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, you know it's summer when you're getting the water slide out, getting the cobwebs off that thing, the spiders are crawling off of it. That's something we did tonight. I ran home, we inflated it, we got it all cleaned off, and the plan is to, for it to make its debut tomorrow before it storms any around here. Now, there could be an isolated shower before sunrise. And then the sun comes out, it's warm, it's rather humid, winds out of the southwest, and then a scattering of storms develops. And these all, would all tend to occur between 1 and 8 p.m. If anything would go isolated, severe, it'd be between 2 and 8, and that'd be a wind and hail threat. A, a one or two storms might go uh, severe. 86 the high, it'll feel like about 90, and there are the highs area wide at 87, or pardon me, 83 to 87. The heat index, 87 to 93 tomorrow afternoon. It's a marginal risk for severe or isolated severe. You see the wind and hail threat right, right there, and that's the Storm Prediction Center's outlook. And we got a marginal risk on Sunday as well. 76 to 83 degree highs, sunshine in the morning, 61. We bubble up the clouds in the afternoon and a scattering of storms after 2 p.m. Any isolated severe would be uh, between 3 and 8 p.m. with an 82 degree high. And there you see the highs for the viewing area as a whole from uh, 76 up towards the mop, but 82 at Delphi and Floor and 83 at Fowler. So we've had the storms west of, it uh, of us tonight. They collapse and all we've got left of those is an outflow boundary or cool air that surges out from the storms it may act as a trigger for an isolated shower. Uh, again, that'd be late tonight and before sunrise tomorrow morning. Then scattered storms pop tomorrow. This is one. It's not happening yet, but then look at three. Here comes some scattered storms. This is four and this is five. You see the scattered storms in the area. Again, one or two may pulse up and produce a severe gust or a little hail. But here's the thing. Here we are at 630. By 830, they're out of here and we're done. We're done for the night. Some patchy fog tomorrow night and then on Sunday sunshine early and then some scattered storms developing during the afternoon and into the evening. Here's the issue though. Still some showers and thunderstorms around even around midnight or 1 a.m. Sunday night. This is the time of the lunar eclipse. Hopefully this gets out of here quickly and we can view it. But right now it looks like the clouds and a few showers may linger and obscure that lunar eclipse. All right, 70 forecast, normal high is 74, 82 on Sunday, 76 Monday, nothing more than an isolated shower from these cumulus clouds bubbling up over the sky. Dry Tuesday, dry mostly Wednesday, but Wednesday night, Thursday morning, a warm front comes through with some scattered showers and storms, and then it's hot and humid Friday and hot and humid Saturday and next weekend, and that may have a better potential severe weather, more widespread severe weather developing a week from this weekend.